welcome to another episode of this program, Gospel Half Hour. I am your brother, Ekereti Jackson, boy, come. I pastor in Christ Church near primary school, Edeni Korabimo, off Iduro Road at Pepsi Bus Stop. We have been on a series, Christ, the Church, and You. And I'm going to read a scripture which you must pay good attention to it. Colossians chapter 1, verses 12 through 14. Giving thanks unto the Father who had made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light, who had delivered us from the power of darkness and had translated us into the kingdom of his dear son, in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. Now, Apostle Paul wrote this letter from prison to the people who were at Colossae. Now, looking at verse 1, he says, Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God, meaning there are people that are apostles of themselves, apostles of their communities, apostles from some other things. But here Paul is saying, an apostle of Jesus Christ. How do you know an apostle of Jesus Christ? He will preach Jesus. Now, verse 2 says, to the saints and faithful brethren. He wrote it to church people. Who is a saint? A saint is somebody who believes in the death, the burial, the resurrection, ascension, and glorification of Jesus Christ. And that is sealed with the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. So once you're born again and you have the Holy Spirit in you as a seal, you are a saint. So he wrote this thing to them. Now when you go up to verse 9, he was telling them the things that I expected of them, which they could only get it by what now? Sitting down to be taught who a saint is, what they have in them. And that's why I can have it in that verse where it says, giving thanks unto the Father. Now let me tell you one thing. That word deliverance means salvation. Deliverance is the same thing as what now? Redemption. Deliverance means moving from one place to another place. Here we have who had delivered us from the power of darkness. What does it mean? It means he had translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. He had moved us from the domain of Satan into the domain of Jesus Christ. That is deliverance. Any other thing outside that is not deliverance. And if you don't understand this scripture very well, everything about the Christianity is going to be false. And you are going to be a prey to anybody. Because that word deliverance can only be preached. If you go to Luke chapter 4, that's what you see. Check all through Acts, that's what you see. Preaching, we preach as we preach the forgiveness of sins, the redemption through his blood, the salvation, the indwelling of the Holy Spirit, all of this put together is the deliverance. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So if you don't understand this, you are in a very, you are in a situation you put yourself. Now, to let you know, Peter was an apostle who saw Jesus before he died. Peter saw Jesus when he died. And Peter also saw Jesus when he resurrected. So Peter read what Paul wrote. And Peter could, with all audacity, say something about, about what Paul wrote. Meaning that if you are a man of God, anybody at all, if you don't understand what Paul wrote, you are running in error. What did Peter say? In 2 Peter chapter 3, from verse 15. And consider that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation. As also our beloved brother Paul, according to the wisdom given to him, has written to you. As also in all his epistles, speaking in them of these things, in which are some things hard to understand, which untaught and unstable people twist to their own destruction, as they do also the rest of the scriptures. If you don't understand this thing that God inspired Paul to write, you are unstable, you are untaught, you are unlearned, and you are going to twist everything about your Christianity. As you are twisting, you are going to run into destruction. It is nobody doing that to you. You are the one doing it to yourself. So it is better you sit down on that way you can be taught and ex this thing explained to you in the proper way. Now, Paul said that, like I said, under revelation, Jesus revealed it to him himself. So when we are talking of deliverance, like I said, it is movement from one kingdom to the other. And if you are actually born again, you believe in the death, the burial, resurrection, ascension, and glorification of Christ 
with the indwelling of the Holy Spirit in you, you are delivered. If you go for any other thing outside that, you are on your own. It means you don't understand what Paul wrote. You don't understand what Peter said about Paul. And you don't understand what even Jesus said. Deliverance is by preaching. What is that? Forgiveness of sins. What is that? Redemption through the blood of Christ. And what is that? I'm salvation. God with the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. I am your brother, the Kerry Jackson Boycom. I pastor in Christ Church near primary school. You didn't call me more. Off you the road at Pepsi bus stop. I invite you to worship with us where I will explain this thing to you more every Sunday, 9 a.m. And every Wednesday, 5 p.m. Praise the Lord. I also want to ask you to be a part of this program. I want you to sponsor or be a partner. The banking details are going to be rolling there. Don't wait because your money will help this program to go a long way. Somebody's going to hear and get blessed. That will be through you. Um, I have a book here. How to turn pastor sermons into songs. It's going to bless you. If you're a pastor and you have not read it so far, man of God, you're not doing yourself good. Find a way and read it. The book also is in this audio format. It also contains my latest album, Lambano. Find a way and get it and read it. And let me also say this. On the 11th of November, that's on a Sunday by 3 p.m., I'm going to do a birthday for myself and my son. The name of my son is Jesus. It's going to be a double father and son birthday. Then I use that day also to release the 11th music album of Boycom Masqua. You don't want to miss it for any reason at all. And until I come your way again on this same station, remember, in Christ, everything is new. Amen.